What's up? Today we're going to be checking out Park Circle located in Valley Center, California. So Park Circle is five developers that got together to build a whole bunch of houses at the bottom of the hill in Valley Center, California. And we're going to be checking that out right now. Let's get started. What's up, amazing people? Hey, I am Liz LaFour here with the Mortgage List team, and every single week I bring you amazing videos talking about the best home loans and all about living in San Diego and what it's like to eat, live, sleep, and breathe here in San Diego. Today we're gonna to be checking out Park Circle Life in Valley Center, California, and we're gonna be looking at all of the five developers as to what they're building with the Beezer Homes, the Sundance Homes, and a whole bunch more. But before we get started, I wanna make sure that you subscribe to my channel because every single week we are gonna be checking out new developers, new homes, new areas here in San Diego, and you don't wanna miss a thing. If you have any questions or you're curious about one of these developers or you're curious about something about home loans, feel free to comment them down below. We will get back to you. So Park Circle has five different developers of which that are all building little by little. Some homes are farther along than other homes. The homes right behind me are the Beezer homes. So porches are what you see first and then behind those are the trail side homes. Today, we're not gonna be looking at any of the inside of the homes. We're actually gonna be doing that on future videos. We're gonna be checking out the Sundance homes as well, which is built by KB Homes, and then Meritage Homes, which is actually what's um, built out the Kyra and Wildflower, which is actually down the way on Valley Center Road, and then making a left at the very next entrance. So let's check out right now the community area that is right in front of Beezer Homes. That first, because this area, I gotta tell you, is massive this acres and acres of area that they're going to be building for families to be able to hang out. So what we're first looking at here is actually one of two pools that's actually gonna be located here in the park life. So park circle, you're gonna end up finding, like I said, those five developers that are building. This is one of those pools. The other pool that's actually gonna be located, looks like it's going to be over in the Meritage Homes at the corner in the backside of the Kyra Homes. That's actually where you're gonna end up finding that other pool. The homes for Sundance are actually all one stories and do have a very large lot. We're gonna be checking that out at the end of our tour. So make sure that you stay and watching. And then also Kyra Homes, which is actually located right over there on the other side of this hill. Kyra Homes that are built with Meritage Homes and Wildflower, that is actually where you're gonna find that other pool. A little bit of that reasoning, it looks like because the lots aren't as big from what I can see um, on the Meritage Homes, but Meritage Homes are not even remotely actually done. So you're gonna be a little ways out before you actually start moving in. So in checking out these houses, you're gonna end up finding quite some similarities and then quite some differences. So right now in looking at the big, huge community center that you're gonna end up finding, which is the majority of the park circle is actually this community center. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of homes, but everything seems to be built around this community center. One big thing that they're also be doing here is actually getting some additional stores, which you don't have as much in Valley Center because remember Valley Center is actually all country they pride themselves on being able to have you know the mom pop shops which is actually what really makes valley center valley center i mean valley center you're able to have a whole bunch of land that may be able to have your homes not next door to each other unlike these homes so just keep in mind that when you do buy new build you do not buy new build with a whole bunch of land you will buy new build with some neighbors and then in this case you have this big huge area of where you're going to end up hanging out with a lot of green grass, community area, and actually even some bathrooms, which I found earlier today, which is not common to have in a big, huge park in general when it comes to right in the center of a whole bunch of homes. Okay, so here we are in the community center. Like I said, this is actually located right in front of the Beezer homes that we were just looking at. This is right in front of the porches and then the trail side that's actually right behind it. So the community center that we were just looking at right over here, that's actually where the pool is gonna be located right over there. The homes are right at the top. You're gonna to end up finding up there are gonna be the Beezer homes, which are the porches. And then right behind that, you're gonna end up finding the trail side homes, which are also from Beezer. So today, while we're not gonna be looking on the inside of any of these homes, because there is five developers, that is way too much for one video, make sure that you're watching out for future videos that are gonna come along, so that way you can see the inside of all these homes. The biggest hiccup I ran into trying to find information about these homes was that the website and the web 
basic information had zero info and so not until i got here did i realize that there was five developers and that all the homes were while they were in the same park circle they're not actually the same they're very different and depending on where you are within the actual valley center road will depend on like how much land you end up getting also depend on where you are located like one of the things that you'll end up seeing is that on the trail side homes which is the back side of the uh, porches the actual garages go to the like actual road and then your yard that you have per se goes to like a community yard so you don't have like your own specific yard you have a community yard that goes to those homes specifically i want to say there was like eight or ten homes all kind of going into the same community yard and we'll take a look at that later but i just wanted you to be aware that depending on what you're looking at or depending on what you want you may be able to build a pool you may not be able to build a pool something to think about anytime that you do build a pool that you're not going to be able to build it for like fifty sixty thousand dollars because a lot of the time the invoices that you start looking at when it comes to the pools they don't have all the extras even when i was building my pool the original invoice that we got was not a word close nowhere close to what we actually ended up paying for so just be aware of that and of course there's always additional expenses that come along with buying and building a pool as well you always want to try to do that in the very beginning phases so when you do you know buy a home that's new construction try building the pool all at the same time because i mean like you're already in the construction zone so why have it or why do it all over again right that doesn't make any sense we're going to be checking out next the richmond which is the seasons home and then the wildflower cairo which is meritage homes and the last but not least is going to be the sundance homes so i reference this uh, wonderful map because this map is not located on the website and so when you're trying to figure out where this place is or what is what you had to come down here to be able to see it and if you don't have an appointment some of the builders are not even letting you in so it's not like it used to be when it came to a builder situation where you could just walk in on an open house whenever you felt like it especially on a weekend not like that at all okay so you got to make sure that you set up the appointment before you make yourself down here or you're going to literally end up coming down here and only one literally one of the five builders will even let you in so that's exactly what happened to me today so just be aware of that do not come down here without an appointment but with that being said i came down here also with no intention of doing all of the inside of the videos because that's going to be for a future video all right so now let's take a look at these beezer homes the trail side and the porches so we can see what's going on over there and then you can see those community yards that are all shared within like eight to ten homes all right let's keep going gotta love being a mom had to share this with you so here we go they're doing an obstacle course so now you know there's a lot of fun to be had here at Park Circle. So you have the homes on one side and then you got the community grass in the center. You do have actually right over here, you got a little swing set right over here along with a little barbecue pit. But you got the homes on one direction and then you got the community area on the other side, which is actually where you would technically have your you know, front porch per se, your own grass, your front yard. That's where you're gonna end up having that. You're gonna end up seeing that the garage is on the front area with the actual road. And then you're gonna end up seeing that it's all in this like small little cul-de-sac. So while right over here is actually where you're gonna end up finding the whole grass area. Again, these are all part of the Beezer homes that we were just talking about. And then over here is more of the Beezer homes that we've been looking at as well. Just keep in mind that the Beezer homes are actually probably the, one of the closer per se, like the ones that have actually gotten further along with the build than in comparison to the other ones like Sundance or the Meritage homes. These ones are, you know, I would say halfway completed. So if you are thinking about buying right now, this may be the direction to go. Shea Homes right now, which is actually only looks like a row of area of homes, looks like it's called the Summer Homes. Those homes are pretty much already done. According to the rep that I was talking to, those homes basically just have one last couple of homes and they're talking like less than 10. So if those are what you're looking for, that's definitely gonna be something that you gotta jump on fairly quickly. So now we are going to be checking out Richmond Homes. So Richmond Homes is actually the next part of it. So if you recall, we were looking at 
Beezer, which were actually over there on the homes that we were looking at along with Trailside. Now when you go down uh, Valley Center Road, you end up actually arriving to the next round of new construction, which is actually gonna be Richmond. So again, we're not gonna be going inside today. We're gonna be checking that out on a different video. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below if there's any specific development that you want me to check out. But today we just wanna see kind of where they're all located, what you're going to expect within each development. This at Richmond, it's called the Seasons. There is looking like three different floor plans that we're looking at right now, but from what we can see, it's gonna be the other side of the creek, other side of the creek and then the borders. Okay, so when I'm talking about the creek, that's gonna be right over there actually on the other side. So when we were referring to the homes that were on the other side over there on Beezer, the Beezer homes at the end, that's actually gonna be over there along with the trail side homes. That's actually over there as well. That's where you're gonna find those. But now that we're right over here, like I said, these are the, uh, the Seasons homes. Richmond American Homes. Um, you're gonna end up finding three different floor plans. Uh, looks like a single story and then two uh, two story homes. Um, you will actually, it looks like on these ones, you do end up having a little bit more of a lot. Um, you, that's not what you're finding on the other ones from what I can see. Um, because the other ones had like no backyard and then their backyard was technically in their front yard. So these are the floor plans that we were originally talking about. It looks like this one is probably the biggest one at 3,040 square feet, four bedroom to six bedrooms with two and a half bath to three and a half bath. It looks again, are you're gonna have the garage to the front. Again, you're not gonna have any like per se parking area. This is barely gonna be enough parking to actually just park your car, but it looks like just coming back and forth, this isn't gonna be enough area to put multiple cars on each side without it being jam-packed in general. So having that be a red area is very possible. So here we are looking at the tourmaline, which is the 2,660 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms. Again, just keep in mind that when you look at the new homes, they're always gonna be like the newest, prettiest. They put every single upgrade known to man so that way you can you know, see yourself in that home but realize that there's so much more um, that comes along with that extra nice stuff with the square footage. It also comes along with the price to it. So like we said, the seasons right over here, 2,080 square feet all the way up to 3,040 square feet, three bedrooms to six bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half baths. So when we were talking about the uh, one story homes, this is what I was referring to. This is the one story. It's gonna be 2,080 square feet, three to four bedrooms, and then two to three baths on a one story. So like we were talking about, we have one story, two stories, and then the two story right over there. Okay, so we just went over to Richmond, which was way nicer to deal with than one of the other developers. You do not have to have an appointment to be able to walk in and see their new home. So hey, that is really good to know. So when you are looking at different developers, Richmond actually totally allowed you to come in without an appointment, be able to see all of their homes right now in the seasons, the ones that we were just looking at right over here with the three different floor plans, the one story and the two two stories. So hey, we still got some more homes that we got to check out. Okay, so we have arrived to the Meritage Homes right now, and the first thing I wanted you guys to see is check out this backyard. This backyard is way bigger than any of the other houses that we've actually seen. I take that back probably closer to the seasons with Richmond. Richmond's did have a really big like area, so it looks like you're going to have a big backyard, but this like the lot area you are not going to find in the Beezer homes with a trail side or the other ones, the porches, you're not gonna find in those homes. Those homes are, you're getting the connection of the community area and the pool that's right there. So while I was talking about originally about the pools and stuff like that, the community pools is what you're gonna find for the trail side and the Beezer homes over there. But when it comes to these homes, Meritage, I think they're definitely built more so that you can have the backyard within these homes. So check out the backyard. This is from the only two that I can see that are actually almost done. They obviously still do have quite a bit of development that has to get completed for these two specific homes. But can we just look at the big, massive 
backyard that you're going to end up finding in these homes which are actually the Meritage homes. The Meritage homes do actually carry both the wild flower and Kyra. The outside which is going to be the Kyra which is what we're looking at right now. The Kyra is these homes here and then the wildflower, which is what you're going to end up finding in the center of all the Meritage homes. That's actually where you're going to be finding those homes. The wildflower looks like there may be about 20 or 30 of them. You're not going to end up finding as many of the other ones, which is the Kyra. The Kyra is actually the one that you're going to get the most options. From what it also looks like is you're going to get quite a big house for both of these Meritage homes that you're looking at. So check out those backyards. Are definitely seeing some single levels right over there. I don't have a map yet besides this one that we got here. And so we are just going by what we can put together and what we can see. I just wanted to give you a outside view perspective so that way you can see what you're going to anticipate in these homes. Where we're standing right now is literally the entrance from where we have the sales office right over there. The entrance, which that street over there is actually Lilac. So you gotta come down Valley Center Road, make a left on Lilac, and then you end up seeing these homes, which are actually the Meritage homes for Wildflower and the Kyra homes. So this is where you're gonna find all of these. But as you can clearly see, there is not a home that's gonna be finished anytime soon. So you are definitely gonna be a solid six to 12 months out before you buy one of these homes. But the good part is, you know, you're planning for 2022. So check out those houses. Those are massive houses. Gotta be north of 2,000, 3,000 square feet for sure. Okay, so just a little bit of food for thought. So I gotta say, as a person that's looking for all of these different homes, there really is not a lot of signage. I mean, trying to find the Sundance homes right now, we're on the back side of the Beezer homes, which based off of the actual map, um, that's not what it's showing. So as you are coming out to see these homes, you wanna make sure that you look around drive in the uh, multiple areas, drive in the multiple streets, then that's how you're gonna be able to find all of these different homes. The homes that I thought were Sundance were not Sundance. Those homes have been built for quite some time. I wanna say a solid six to 12 months. Those are not the new homes that are part of Park Circle. The homes that we're gonna be looking at right now are part of Park Circle. Uh, looks like they're 2,061 square feet to 2,620 square feet. Three bedrooms to four bedrooms is what we're looking at. So we're gonna take a look at those next. Okay, so I wanted to show you a little bit of the land that comes along with Sundance. You'll notice that the Sundance lands don't have a lot of homes already built up. I can imagine that they're probably a, not even in the next six months to be built. And actually when you flip around the area, the only new construction that you're gonna find are these ones right over here. So it does appear that you're gonna be quite a long time out from these ones. However, these ones are bigger. And from what I can see that you do have quite a bigger lot than the other homes that we were just checking out, which was the um, trail side, as well as the Beezer homes that were built. So these are the lot that we were looking at. And from what this looks like, this is actually all going to be one area of one home. And then you go on to the higher area right over here. And these ones are a little bit higher. So these ones would be other, other homes on the top. You do per se can see yourself with, you know, at least some kind of backyard. You will obviously have your home with the garage and meet up to the driveway, which is not that big a deal as long as you have a backyard and it's not so much of a community. I have actually kind of noticed that in this area, I think it's more set up that the homes specifically are giving you the backyard versus the other homes that are kind of like giving you the community area and that's what like you're buying specifically. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little food for thought as to what I'm seeing around here in the park circle with these five developers. So here we are, we are actually again in the Sundance area. All of the Sundance homes actually are all one story homes. So this one is 2,620 square feet, four bedrooms, 
two and a half bath. I gotta tell you the lots on these homes, just driving through them has been pretty amazing. And from the looks of it, they all get pretty good size lots. This one right here, which is plan 2384, ends up getting 2,384 square feet, four bedrooms, three or three to four bedrooms, two and a half bath. Just a little food for thought as that you have like, let's say another area, maybe it's not you know what you're looking for. You can always turn in like a playroom or a second living room into another room. That's actually what we did in our home, which then allowed us to have four bedrooms where we needed the extra room for my daughter. So the last one is 2,061 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half bath. It does actually just look maybe that it's a difference of the floor plan that we're looking at right now. So just kind of in review of these homes specifically looking at Sundance. Sundance homes you have been actually finding or I've actually been finding that they're all obviously one story homes. The homes in themselves are actually pretty big size homes. They're over 2000 square feet up to about 2600, 2620 square feet. They're all three bedrooms to four bedrooms. Don't take too much to light as to the amount of um, like whether it's the third bedroom is not like an actual bedroom you can always change that over but from what i can see these homes do have a very big backyard again we're not going to go into the homes in themselves today we truly just kind of want to see where they're all at and where they're located so if you are actually finding or thinking about coming down to these homes specifically you want to actually go down the road so the first entrance Literally, the first entrance you make a left, and those are the homes that are already built. Those are the homes that are gonna lead you up to these homes in Sundance. Go all the way to the top of the actual road. You can't miss it. There's like these two logs coming up in the corner, say a park circle. That's how you know that you're in the other section, which is Sundance, which is actually where these one story homes are. So just to give you a little food for thought when you're trying to figure out where you're going or whether this makes sense. The one thing I was kind of amazed though is that in this area there is actually even one home right now that's already for sale which means that the home was sold definitely in the earlier stage phase one we're going to find out more as we get into these homes specifically how far they are into their phases so definitely watch out on future videos that we're going to be diving in a little bit more so that way you can see the new construction that's happening in valley center i can assure you this is not the only new construction that's happening within this park circle there is other construction happening in valley center as well as escondido which we'll we definitely be checking out as well Okay, so as you're thinking about buying your next home or moving to somewhere here in San Diego, you definitely want to reach out to us. Give us a call, send us a text or an email, whatever is easiest for you. Definitely reach out to us. We got your back when you're moving here to San Diego. We got clients every single day, literally calling us, wanting to move here, coming from other states. People think that they're leaving California and going to other states. That is totally not the case. We have clients coming from Texas, Colorado, New York, all the time. So want to make sure you reach out to us regardless of what you're thinking about, whether you're in the beginning stages, whether you're just starting, whether you're on your move or you're making um, your next plans for next year, make sure that you reach out to us. Um, definitely watch out for the next videos. We are going to be going a deep dive into all of these new homes, as well as a lot of information about home loans in general to make sure that you're well informed when you are ready to buy your next home. And until next time, we'll see you later.